If you're wondering how the REO process works, you've come to the right place. Hi everyone, I'm Carl Iglesias with the PreferredAgentTeam.com. Welcome to the channel. Before we get started, if you haven't already done so, don't forget to like, subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll be alerted every time a new video is released. Okay, let's get started. The REO process in New York will vary depending on the lender or financial institution that owns the property. However, in general, the process typically goes as follows. Number one, the lender initiates the foreclosure process on the property, usually by filing a notice of default with the county. Number two, if the borrower is unable to bring the loan current, the lender will proceed with the foreclosure sale. Number three, if the property does not sell at the foreclosure sale, it becomes real estate owned, REO by the lender. Number four, the lender will then make the necessary repairs to the, to the property and preparations to list the property for sale. This may include hiring a real estate agent, cleaning up the property and making any necessary repairs or renovations. Number five, the property is then listed for sale on the market and the lender may consider offers from potential buyers. Six but not least, once a buyer is found, the lender will work with the uh, buyer and their real estate agent to close the sale. It's important to note that the foreclosure process and the REO process may vary depending on the specific laws and regulations in New York, as well as the lender's own policies and procedures. So I hope this gives you a better understanding on the REO process. If you found this helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button, share, subscribe. We really appreciate it. Call Iglesias with the preferred agent team.com. Till next time, peace out.